good morning everyone i am not a morning person good morning sugar would you like to say hello hello good morning good morning to you too um hey guys it's me tara and it is too fucking early in the morning to do any of this by too early i mean it's like 10 30 no it's 11 45 it's 11 45 and i'm running late i have to be out of this house by 12 to make it to my appointment my spa appointment today we're going and getting a massage and then we're getting my nails done tonight i'll talk to you guys more about it in a second i gotta wash my face and brush my teeth a few moments later my assistant is here because i'm running so fucking late she just made me a lovely smoothie if you guys want to know what i drink in my smoothies if i were to ever have a fucking air one smoothie can i i'm not cool enough for that but if i ever were to it'd be bananas peanut butter dates milk like oat milk more peanut butter Mmm, I'm running so fucking late. Today I'm having a spa day because I'm going to England for one whole week. Yay! I'm going for work and I thought every day since probably three months ago when I moved into this house, I've been saying I need a massage. And so today I'm going to get a massage. I think I'm also doing red light therapy and then like a body scrub. I don't know. And then my nail lady, who on and off has been doing my nails since I was 16 and she does my like acrylics, she's coming to my house for a house call later today. So we're getting rid of these babies and we're putting on my nails for England. Yeah, so it's like a full blown spa day, guys. I'm not awake yet, but I'm gonna tell you how excited I am once I'm awake. Ow, 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 TD. OOTD. I was gonna say outfit of the day and then OOTD and I said ow ow TD. And uh, then my little white tank top and I'm wearing some Edward pants. I'm literally gonna wear flip flops. Here we are driving in the car. We have like a little bit of a drive. We have like 55 minutes. A couple of videos ago in my Mexico vlog, I say there's only a couple things in the world that make me happy the mall, shopping, the beach, tanning. I love a trampoline. I love a jacuzzi. Dogs, cute guys, cute girls. I think massages are on that list. So one of my favorite things in life is a massage. Here's the thing about massages though in Maine. I get so excited to get one, and then the second they get to my second leg, I fall fast, fast asleep, okay? And I didn't drink a coffee this morning, so I know that I'm gonna fucking fall fast, fast asleep, which is so annoying, because I'm like, oh, now it's not worth it. Like, I'm asleep, what's the point of that? And I think it just means like my body probably needs more sleep because like who falls asleep every time they get to the second leg? It's literally without a doubt, I will bet $100 by the time they, they get to the second leg, I will fall asleep. Which sucks balls. It's like, I just want my fucking massage. I don't want to be asleep during it. And then I don't, I don't realize what's happening. I am very excited though to have just like a chill day. Get my red light therapy, get a little body scrub, get a massage, get my nails done. I already got my toes and my eyebrows done for your, um, I was gonna say New York. That was a Floridian slip, as they say, because I will be going to New York sometime in the next month a couple times. I actually feel like low key for work. I have been at work. I've been at work. Wow. I gotta feel like I could be like, mm, brr, ma, ma. I can't talk. I feel like I've been in New York at least once a month within the last like six months. I'm not kidding. I need to get like a place there. No, I'm not. That's crazy. I'm being crazy. One hour later. Guys, I just arrived. I'm my friend Jill, I don't know if you guys remember Jill. I feel like, oh my God. I feel like 50%. Is something wrong with this? <laughs> Why are you so tiny? Okay. I feel like 50%. I just of, wanna put you in my pocket all the time. <laughs> I feel 50% of you guys more. might remember Jill. I now. used to be JC Kalen's assistant, and that's when I was blessed with little Miss Tari on me. And that was like, you were the most humble, kindest girl ever. Oh God, and we clicked immediately. Like yeah. yeah. I am a very oh. social, socially anxious introverted person, but Tara just gets the best out of me for some reason. She just has that like special touch. I remember we were at a club one time and I'm like, are you leaving? And you're like, yeah. I'm like, no, you're staying. And I stood. She is the only person that can get me to any party. <laughs> like I hate going up to parties, but Tara's like, no, there's absolutely no choice but for you to show up. And I appreciate it for that. So. so now you do. Well, I do part time here at um, Mummy's Dog, so it's a new wellness facility. Guys, I feel so, so high society. So this is the hydrocolonic room. What's a hydrocolonic room? It's a holistic. You put a tube up your butt? They just cleanse your colon. So they take out like all the parasites and all the toxins, and it's actually so great for you. Sounds like a ploy. <laughs> one day, one no. day Tara's gonna be brave enough to try it. This, this looks so relaxing. And they have a shower, so what? after you get like your body <gasps> scrub, you can just clean. Shut up. up. The bougiest bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Right? Oh yeah, my right? god, I feel like I'm at Nobu Hotel. My thirst trap, my yeah. thirst traps. Your red thong <laughs> would pop up in this little beige room. Dude, I don't look like I belong here at all. This is awesome. <laughs> 
Okay guys, Jill's filming for me while I get undressed. This feels insane. I'm about to get my massage. <laughs> I'm just getting undressed. Can you see me in the... Oh my god. No, you okay, can't. Okay, good. But I can see you strip right in front of me and it's... It shouldn't be free. It shouldn't be I'm free. like... Oh, I'm just your human tripod. I'm like... Whoa! Me and my matcha. I got Jill to come eat tuna with me, so we're gonna go eat tuna now. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I feel like a vampire stuff. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> That's the first massage I've never fallen asleep though. Yeah. I, I literally went like this, I pried my eyes open. I, honestly, the scrub is what kept me up. Yeah. Yeah, it was like scrub, you know? I also showered after, guys. I didn't tell you guys. I literally took a shower in the spa, it was insane. Okay, we're at this place. I'm in Beverly Hills, I feel so bougie right now. I had to take Tara here. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, you're lying. Pink and black. Ah! Yeah. So cute. So good. All right, guys, I got home and I realized I need to take a shower again because that shower simply didn't cut it. I just washed my body and like I got oils in my hair. That was the first ever massage I didn't fall asleep during and it's because I got a scrub and that scrub really woke me up. I felt like a fucking churro, but it was really nice and super moisturizing. Like I literally like feel like a baby's ass right now. I ended up eating coffee and lunch with Jill and we walked around Beverly Hills for a while. I felt very bougie and out of place because I was in literal Ed Hardy pajamas. I just want to show you guys what I put in my hair after a shower. I just rebought it from Sephora. It's like the oil plex number six. It's like the only thing that keeps my hair from not getting frizzy after a shower. <sighs> and now I'm waiting for my girl Brittany, who has done my nails since I was a kid. Like literally, I was like 15, 16 years old getting my nails after like homecoming. Hoko. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put some clothes on. I'll get back to you guys. It's been a pretty relaxing day so far, but like I haven't been really relaxed. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am never relaxed ever, actually. It's really hard for me to relax, and I feel like I've been kind of jumpy today, even though I got a massage, I kind of wanted it to be a relaxing day. And not to say that it was an awesome, like the treatments were amazing. It's me who can't fucking relax a day in her life. And I think I've just like been having a little bit of anxiety, like good anxiety, not bad anxiety, because I'm going to England in a few days and I get really homesick when I leave. Well, I'm gonna put on clothes and keep talking to you guys. <laughs> All right, I put a t-shirt on, yay, travel put clothes on. My shirt is the exact same color as that clock. I'm in a bad mood, I don't know why. I, I like, want to be in a good mood so badly, but, cause I like had a relaxing day, but like, did I? I don't know, too many little things are pissing me off today. Like, things that obviously I can't share with the internet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, phone calls here and there, just like pissing me off, man. Like, I also think on top of it, I'm just anxious for, that was really pleasing. I also think I'm really anxious for London. This is what I use, by the way. Oilplex number six. Oop. Why is it squealing? Oh, it smells so good. Uh, guys, you watched me pump that out. I did not make this shape. Am I, do I have a dirty mind? <gasps> do I have a dirty mind? That was crazy. That was actually crazy. If I have a, if, if I'm the one who sees it and I have a dirty mind, like sue me. Sue me. Fuck. That was crazy. You guys watched me like I just pumped it like normal. I didn't like make a shape. That was nuts. No pun intended. Holy fuck. It's the world, man. The world when it knows I'm in a bad mood throws a dirty, dirty little joke in front of me and is like, Tara, Tara would laugh at this. Tara would laugh at the shape of the oilplex on her hand, you know? That <laughs> Guys, I'm a 12 year old boy. If I'm ever sad, make a dirty joke and I'll laugh. I wanna eat my cucumber salad. Guys, the other day I posted a TikTok of me making cucumber salad and all the comments are just like, I've never seen Tara so quiet in her life. And I'm like, please, I could be quiet. It's hard, it won't last long. That's what she said. But I could be quiet. All right, I'm gonna go eat some of that cucumber salad before my girl Brittany gets here to do my nails. <sighs> I made some more. <clears throat> While I eat this, why don't I talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm gonna do with my nails because I always do something a little different. I'm going to the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice premiere, which is so cool. I don't know if it's a show before it's a premiere. I think it's the premiere. And it's like a whole bunch of things. The next day is a Q and A with the cast, which I think Jen Ortega is the coolest person in the world actually. And I wanna be her friend so badly, but she would never be friend me. Like I think like she's so much cooler than me. Okay, anyways, I'm getting flown out to London to do it, and my best friend Alyssa is coming with me. She's meeting me there from New York. I think I'm gonna do like a Beetlejuice vibe. I don't think I'm gonna do Beetlejuice nails, because I've done that before a long time ago, like three and a half, maybe four years ago. Um, because Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies of all time, but I think I'm gonna go for the vibe. So I think I always do a star on my middle finger. Um, not always, but every like few times. So I think I'm gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna do like a Beetlejuice purple on my middle finger with maybe a green or black or white star in the middle. 
with like a stone in the middle of it. These two I'm gonna do snake skin because of like the little beetle juice you know, like the snake, the worm. And then these two, I'm gonna do like a green chrome. So like, it's like the vibe that's Beetlejuice. It's not like actually, this is mushy. Um, it's not actually like Beetlejuice nails, but I think that's what I like. You know, it's like, so good. Mm. I think a vibe, because I'm gonna have to have these nails for two weeks. I got pokey last night and I put my seaweed salad in here. Cause I was like, mm, this is gonna taste good. We were just talking about how the first time me and Brittany ever met, she was only two years older than I am now. No. So she was 26 and I was like 16. It's just weird to think about. The first time I ever got my nails done where she used to work was my sweet 16. I really thought you were younger. Maybe it's cause you were tiny. Yeah. Isn't that funny to think about? It's weird. It's so weird. weird to think about. It makes me old. Um, the good old days, right? Yeah. Ah. Oh, it's kinda. 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 That took from like 7.30 till 10 p.m. But look how slay they turned out. I did snake skin because of the little Beetlejuice worm thing on these two. I did this like Beetlejuice chrome green. It's kind of giving brat. And then I did a Beetlejuice purple on this one. And then I just did a star even though it has nothing to do with Beetlejuice. I just, I do a star a lot on my middle finger just because it's like, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, they're so sly. I'm gonna continue this vlog um, probably tomorrow. So I feel like I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to, but I'm gonna go to my parents' house for a second because sugar's been driving me nuts today. And I need to empty out a little bit of his energy. So we're gonna go take him to hang out with my mom. The next day. Uh, good morning. I'm running extremely late for my fitting for the Beetlejuice premiere outfit. A stylist named Tabitha, who actually does a lot of my friend Zoe's styling. It's helping me out with this because obviously I don't own like anything like really nice designer stuff when it comes to dresses and usually I think people get styled for shit like this so I hit her up and it's in Beverly Hills and that's where I was yesterday. I should have just put it all in one day. I'm an idiot. Now I'm running really late and this is what I look like which is fine. I think I'm just gonna wear my glasses, no makeup. I literally have to leave right now because I have to get gas. I literally just put on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and I look crazy but... I literally look crazy bones, okay. I'm like debating whether or not to even grab a coffee or not, or I should just get one at the gas station. <laughs> Hilarious. It's okay, it's just a fitting. I'm not doing anything else, I'm coming home. After, I think I'm just gonna grab a coffee on the way. And if I'm late, then I'm sorry. I hate being late to things too. I hate being that person. Oh my God, I'm half asleep, guys. Out we go. I feel like crying. I just drove past a little old lady and her car was filled up with balloons, like happy birthday balloons. And I'm wondering like, I don't think it's her birthday. I think she's like taking them to someone. That's the stuff that gets me all old people. Like I don't like, usually people get emotional over like babies. I get emotional over old people. She was wearing these like ginormous sunglasses. So she was so cute. It's too early in the morning for this shit. One hour later. I think it's really good. You think so? And I feel like it's not so like overdressed. Yeah, like, that's here. the thing. Is I'm like a little worried. I don't want to be like super. Look at me. I'm not fucking Jenna Ortega. It's not mine, no. Zoe. This is cute. The balloon is like bunching in a way that like it's not flattering. It's not super flattering. I agree. Which sucks because I like this one. So no go. I think the no-go. Yeah, I agree, which sucks because this is kind of perfect. I just want something that's like not plain black because guys, people were shitting on me for wearing just black, just plain black the variety event. They're like, oh, I want a Zutari or something that's not black. I'm like, okay, well, sorry. Sorry, sorry I don't do that. But it's also, it's a Beetlejuice thing. Here's the thing, I don't know if I'm going for this one because it fits me perfectly or if it's because I love it. Because like, I, you know what I, look at how perfectly this fits me. <laughs> Guys, I like the Marc Jacobs one. And so this is gonna be altered to be short. I just feel like it's the most me and it's not wearing black. And it still has that flower element. I don't know. It's tighter, shorter. Tighter, shorter. I look like slutty. My vibe. Anything shorter. Anything shorter. All right guys, that went amazing. Time with the rocks. Ended up going with the Marc Jacobs one. I fear I'm a Marc Jacobs girly. I fear that when I did my shoot, somehow Marc Jacobs just brainwashed me into being like, oh, I guess I'm a Marc Jacobs girl now. I think it's like the most me while not wearing black and I just really wanted to stray away from black this time because I mean, the critics were right. I do only ever wear black, especially when it's like a formal event like this. But then again, it's like Beetlejuice and it's like, I don't know, I could have, now that I think about it, I'm like I could have really gothed out. I don't know. I kind of went for a girly vibe for Beetlejuice, which is kind of insane of me. It's okay though. I think when we're sheer black tights and like these like shoes I have, it'll be good. But now I have like an hour drive home, which 
I'm dreading, but it was worth it. Three hours later. No, I don't want to record. Well, it's recording, isn't it? Yeah, Hi I just guys. wanted to. I just got ready for my friend Alexis from high school. He's moving away. So it came it's so <laughs> sad. I know, it's sad. So we're doing like a wine thing. But I'm here with all my high school friends. This is my friend Kayvon, guys. G7. Yeah. Canada. You might have seen him in the new. Should I shout it out? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you go. No, you go ahead. You shout out your little movie. Go watch Incoming on Netflix. I'm so proud of him. We were in drama in like middle school together, so it's cool to see him be a famous actor. I don't want to be in it. Okay. Matt, you're so mysterious. Hi vlog. Obviously, you guys know Willow. Hi vlog. I'm Hi, doing vlog. my job. You are. I'm doing my job. I'm off the clock. That would be bad if I was drinking on the job. I know. My mom. I feel like I wouldn't blink twice. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do? She, I'm like, Mama needs a break. The next day. Good morning, people. My roommate is on the other side of this. I. <laughs> I always say, dude, I fucking hate myself. I told myself I wasn't gonna go out until I go to England. I leave tomorrow. The last night of the week that I was able to go out besides tonight, I ended up fucking going out. And I was like, okay, well, I'll go out tonight and I won't drink and I ended up, I just had a couple beers, but I had fun and that's all that matters, right, Ryan? All that matters. All that matters. I had a great time with some great people and I, oh, Jake's calling me. Hello? <laughs> I'm vlogging. <laughs> What? I'm vlogging. Crazy life. Okay, I'll turn off the vlog. Hold on. Guys, I can't be alone with my thoughts for more than one second. So my friend Grace is here, but I am packing for London. It's like day four of this vlog or something. I don't even know what this vlog was. I genuinely don't know what's happening ever. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this random spa vlog. I don't even know. I don't even remember what I filmed this week. I love you guys so much. Comment down below who it was. <coughs> Comment down below who or what you guys want to see next. I think my next video will be me in London. So it is time to skedaddle. Bye guys.